Your morning news now. The Supreme Court confirmation hearing for Katanji Brown Jackson resumes this morning. The 51 year old is President Biden's nominee to replace retiring Justice Stephen Breyer. Members of the Senate Judiciary Committee will have two days to ask Judge Jackson questions. After nearly four weeks of fighting, the Russian invasion of Ukraine shows no sign of ending. The Ukrainian government has refused to surrender control of Maripol and other cities despite rising civilian casualties. The Pentagon says the increased aerial attack suggests the Kremlin is frustrated by its ground forces inability to advance. Devastating storms ripped through Texas and Oklahoma yesterday. Suspected tornadoes flipped cars and reduced schools, homes and businesses to rubble. Parts of Louisiana, Mississippi and Alabama are now under severe storm warnings. Rain is likely today with high temperatures much cooler in the low 50s. East winds at around 10 to 20 miles an hour. A plan to give American gas cards is off the table. The White House considered sending gas cards to families to help offset record high gas prices before eventually deciding it's not feasible. A source familiar with the proposal says the Biden administration is worried gas cards won't work because of execution issues and fraud concerns. The White House is studying the pros and cons of various other proposals to help Americans. A Sunday barn fire in Buffalo County killed an estimated 100 cattle. Fire crews from 12 departments responded to the farm in the town of Lincoln. It took them five hours to put the fire out. No one was injured. The cause of the fire is unknown. Happening today, you have a chance to help our community with a blood drive. Officials at First City Blood Center say there is a nationwide blood shortage and they need to make up for previously canceled blood collections. To meet the need, Toma Health and Versity Blood Center of Wisconsin are holding a two-day drive today and tomorrow from noon to 5 p.m. at Toma's Recreation Park. To donate blood, a person must be in good health, at least 17 years old, weigh at least 110 pounds, and have photo identification. I mean, as you head out the door this morning, you could run to a couple of uh, light rain showers, and some of that rain could turn heavy at times this afternoon as well. Highs into the upper 40s to low 50s. So we're two weeks from the spring election. That's right. We've got all the information you need on our website, news8000.com, about the different uh, races and the different candidates Everything on there. Everything you need to know. It's a great source. And also, don't forget, you can keep up with the news of the day on news8000.com and on News 8 now at noon. Thanks for joining us this morning. Have a great day, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow.